Hi, I'm James Muir, and this is a screencast for Make More Noise. Uh, I had a last-minute cancellation today, so I find myself with a little bit of time on my hands. So I thought I'd knock up a quick screencast. Let's have a quick chat about where the inspiration came from. Uh, on gearsluts.com, a uh, nice chap called Kenny started a thread called Official Logic Tips and Tricks, and he mentions colouring tracks. So I thought we'd have a look today at how to colour stuff and what advantage it gives you. Further to that subject, on the Loop Masters blog, there's a nice little blog, blog post called Colouring Tracks in Logic More Than Just Pretty. So we're going to roll some of the tips that they mention into it as well. Credit where credit's due. Uh, it looks like the original post came from emusictips.com. So that's enough about the inspiration. A little bit of an advanced apology. We've got some building work going on next door. So if there's any bangs or crashes... No one's been injured. Uh, it's just the people next door renovating their house. So, colouring tracks in Logic. Well, the first thing to say, as always, is there's more than one way to do it in Logic. If you select an audio region or a MIDI region, you can then come up to the top bar here, select colours, and you can pick a pretty colour, and you can make your track that colour. You can also access the colour list by using the key command Alt or Option C, just depends on the age of your Apple keyboard. It's called Option on the newer ones, Alt on the older ones. So at Option C, and we can make it a green colour. So that's the basic way of colouring your tracks. You can also do this before you start recording anything. So we've got an instrument track here, blank with nothing installed, on nothing installed, nothing instantiated on the track here. So if we select the track in the track header, and then we use our key command again, Alt C, Option C. We can now make this track a pretty pink colour. And then when we put a synth in, let's just go for ESM. And we drop it into record. You can see our track comes up looking nice and pretty and pink. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut away and load up a slightly more complicated session. I'll come back and we'll continue talking about colours in Logic. OK, we've got our slightly more complicated session loaded up. And as you can see, I've done a, pr a bit of the colouring work in advance. So I've got the vocals down here at the bottom, all coloured purple. Guitars all in this light blue. And then the bass tracks I've got in this sort of yellowy green. And uh, what I haven't done yet is the drum tracks. So there's a couple of ways you can select all the drums to colour them. You can either elastic band the whole lot like that. Just drag across them all and make sure they all go dark so they're selected. Or you can click here in the track header and then if you hold down the shift key as you click on subsequent tracks it'll enable you to have more than one thing selected at once. If you haven't got the shift key held down you'll only be able to select one thing at once. So once we've got those all selected key command again, Alt C, Option C depending on the age of your Apple keyboard and we'll make our drum tracks a nice powerful red. OK, the next thing that's really important here is, after we've gone to all this effort of colouring them, which obviously is visually very stimulating, is there any actual practical use to it? Well, there is. What you can actually do now, and this is where it becomes really interesting, is there's another key command, which is Shift and the C key. And what that enables you to do is select anything of an equal colour. So all we need to do is just pick one region, which is in this case it's the light blue of the guitars, Shift and C, and we've then got all of our guitars selected. So if we wanted to mute all the guitars, we can now just M for mute or S for solo. And the same trick will work with the drums if we just select one of these little tiny tom regions. Shift and C, anything that's the same colour will be selected. So if I wanted to just listen to the drums in solo, I've now got the whole drum track soloed up. Same trick again, just one more time. Select something in the light blue colour, which we know is our guitars. I'm just going to hit S to come out of solo. Shift and C, all of our guitars are now selected. And same trick again, solo or mute, and we'll mute everything of an equal colour. Hopefully that'll be a little bit of a time saver, and it's killed a little bit of time for me. Thankfully it wasn't too much banging or drilling next door while this was going on, so I hope you enjoyed the screencast. I've been James Muir. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.